Ashes of Creation is on a path right now to be one of the greatest MMORPGs of our time, visually and gameplay-wise. And as of a recent announcement, it may be getting even better. I personally wasn't going to make this video as I had dreams of Steven giving us live stream leaks by now to make a video along, along with completely losing track of time, thinking the live stream was actually today and not next week. So here we are, really got nothing else to talk about. I've talked about it all, so let's dive into this. For those of you who don't know, Unreal Engine 5, which is the game engine that Ashes of Creation runs on, just got some major updates that I want to talk about. This video by Unreal Sensei, which you can find in the description, definitely explains the changes the best compared to my terrible no-knowledge background and game design you're about to get, but we are giving it a shot. But if you want more details after this video, definitely go check that one out. Unreal 5.1, as the update is called, has received some massive updates which will greatly improve the performance of Ashes of Creation while also making the world look even more visually stunning. But one very big thing to note is Intrepid has not confirmed to be adapting or applying this update to Ashes of Creation yet, but I would be very surprised if we did not see them do so in the future. The closest thing we got to a confirmation is this guy tweeting asking Intrepid if they will be using the latest update, to which Intrepid responds, we are always looking at the latest technology to see what would make sense for our team to implement. So not a yes, but not a no either. Every big update like this that Intrepid applies to the World of Era obviously will take some time to do so, perhaps bumping the release date back even more, even if it's only a couple months. And while the technology is always being updated, Intrepid does eventually have to release Ashes to us, mostly so I don't go insane. But anyways, one of the biggest changes with Unreal Engine 5.1 is the foliage. Unreal Engine uses something called Nanite, which basically lowers the amount of polygons on an object, allowing for faster rendering and better performance around those objects, but Nanite did not exist on foliage before this update. So basically, as you probably have seen in many games before, as you get closer to a certain object in the game in the past, you can see it render in the background as you approach it. Well, this is basically what Nanite helped remove, but it wasn't until 5.1 that this worked with the foliage on trees and plants, which means all those great forests of Vera in Ashes of Creation will no longer disappear the further you move away from them, making this amazing looking world and but is built even more fantastic. Foliage also has more realistic lighting to it as well, as the light can pass through the foliage creating more realistic shadows. Along with this, they added some more tweaks to the lumen lighting, such as adding more realistic reflections on glass and water as well, which will be great to see with naval content seeing proper reflections on the water. And there are also some minor improvements with the lighting on top of this. A lot of you may not actually care about the lighting and rendering, but the less memory objects take to render, the more realistic ash of creation's dream of hitting 500 v 500 player castle sieges can become while still having decent performance going at it so nanite is definitely gonna help reach this goal this wasn't the only change though we know that unreal engine 5 allowed for larger world support than unreal engine 4 but now with unreal engine 5.1 upgrade you can make a world 88 million kilometers in size compared to the 22 kilometers unreal engine 4 had to offer and keep in mind that in Intrepid started development of Ashes of Creation on Unreal 4, which this is absolutely massive. These are huge worlds that they're allowing developers to make now, especially for those who want to make more MMOs on Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 4 wasn't the most stable when it came to multiplayer performance, and we know Intrepid has been doing a ton of work behind the scenes to get the game to perform how they wanted on Unreal Engine 4, but now Unreal Engine 5 is really just giving them the tools they need to make this MMORPG as great as it possibly can and perform as well as you could possibly imagine with everything they want to throw into this game. I can't even imagine that Intrepid won't make these changes eventually, especially in a world filled with choppable trees now. You'll want those trees to look great no matter what with the lighting and the rendering and all of that. And if I have to wait a couple months longer to play Ashes of Creation or however long it'll be to apply this update, if they end up doing that, then I would take my chances and just wait a little bit longer. But I don't actually know if it would take a couple months or a couple weeks to apply this stuff i have no idea how this works so somebody in the comments fill me in because again not 
not a game dev, don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I just want to talk about Ashes of Creation. But all these Unreal Engine 5 changes have me even more excited to see where Ashes of Creation will go. And they're going to continue to do updates to this engine. It's a brand new engine. We're going to see a lot more changes down the road that Intrepid may or may not apply. You can't expect Intrepid to apply everything that Unreal Engine pops out with. Some of them probably won't make sense for this kind of game. But what are your thoughts on the latest Unreal Engine 5 upgrade and how it may benefit Ashes of Creation in the future? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally jump into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.